Hello everyone. Today we are moving towards the new topic that is the HTTP and www. All are known about that words. All are using the different uh, internet uh, sites without site www. Something whatever the sites will be. But uh, this is the uh, all are known about that. But uh, what is the actual HTTP and www. Dot? What is the actual technical aspects behind that? Uh, we number of students we don't know about that. And in that concept we are studying in details in today's lecture. In that uh, HTTP. In the HTTP it is the hypertext transfer protocol. This is the one type of protocol. Is that protocol is used mainly to access the data on the World Wide Web. That is the www. That is the World Wide Web. HTTP function as a combination of FTP and SMTP. It is similar to uh, FTP because it transfer files and uses the services of TCP. However, it is much simpler than FTP because it uses only TCP connections. There is no separate control connection. Only data are transferred between the client and the server. HTTP is like as an SMTP because the data transferred between the client and the server look like SMTP message. In addition, the format of the message is controlled by MIME like uh, headers and like uh, SMTP. Uh, the HTTP messages are not to be read by the humans as well as they are read and interpreted by the HTTP server and HTTP client that is the we are calling browser SMTP messages are stored and forwarded but HTTP messages are delivered immediately In these uh, commands from the client to the servers are embedded in a request message. The contents of requested file or other information are embedded in response message that is the HTTP uses the services of TCP that is the well known port is the AT. Here is the, the first one HTTP that is the HTTP transaction, request messages, response messages, headers. HTTP uses the services of TCP or well known port that is the AT. HTTP transaction. In figure, the HTTP transaction between the client and the server, the HTTP use the services of TCP, HTTP itself is a stateless protocol. The client initializes the transaction by sending, by sending a request message. The server replies, here is the server, server is replies by sending the response messages, here is the response message, client and server. The formats of the request and response message are similar, that both are shown here. A request message, a request message consists of a request line that is the also having consist line that is the sorry consist of a request line. 
a header after that a header uh, sometimes a body present only for some messages and a response message consists of status line a header sometimes a body request and status lines that body request and status line the first line in request message is called as a request line and the first line in response message is called the status line okay there is a one common field <coughs> shown in this diagram request type this field is used in request message that is the this field is will be used in request message in version of http several several request types are defined the request type is categorized into method as that is having some space between the url and after that http version the url we discussed the url the most current version of http after that response message the response message the status line headers a blank line and body is given for the for some messages the request header that is the request message can be present only in request message it specifies the client configuration and the client preferred document format it having some headers that is the accept accept char set accept encoding accept language authorization from port modified scenes if match if non match range unmodified scenes referral user agent in header Uh, the request headers the having there are different types of descriptions uh, in the header the first one one is the header is present that is the accept accept it will works as the as well as it shows the medium for the client can accept accept char set will be one type of header it will show the character set the client can handle user agent it identifies the client program host shows the host and port number of the server accept language shows the language the client can accept accept encoding shows the encoding scheme the client can handle if modified scenes sends the document if newer than specified date this is the all about the response message status line in the status line the space uh, in between the http version after that status code and status phrase the header name and header value so having the space and there was a different types of header that is the except and accept char set connections date mi version upgrade this is for the request message after that uh, response message means in between the client and server the connections in between the client and server Uh, we require to give the request after that some general headers accept accept charge set mi me 
then request headers some end title will be given it is the body uh, will be uh, required for the some different types of messages this is the header for request message and response message http version 1 1.1 specifies persistent connection by default next one we see the details that is the world wide web that is the www dot the world wide web there is the hypertext and hypermedia another one browser architecture static document and uh, html dynamic document uh, cgi and the last one that is the active document java World wide way, it will be used for the already we know any when you check the any site without any this type of request we can't the generate any sites that is the a string character that identifies the page on the world wide way. So, a multimedia internet service that allows users to internet by moving from one document to another via links that connect them together The famous World Wide Web, it also briefly describes the client related as well as server applications program that is the HTTP that is commonly used to access the web. In World Wide Web, it was originally designed as a stateless entity. A client ends a request, a server responds, their relationship is over. And the original design of www, the retrieving publicly available documents, exactly fits this purpose. The today, the web has other functions, some are listed here. Some website needs to allow access to registered clients only. Websites are being used as electronic stores that allow users to browse through the store. Select wanted items, put them in as an electronic card and pay at the end with the credit card. Sometimes websites are used as portals. The user selects the web pages he wants to see as well as some websites are just uh, advertising purpose the HTTP is protocol used mainly to access data on the world wide web that is the www and it is the world wide web it is the repository of information linked together from points all over the world HTTP is the main protocol used to access data on the world wide web in between that hypertext hypertext information containing the text that is linked to other documents linked to other documents 
through pointers the hypertext markup language that is the html the computer language for specify the contents and format of web document it allows um, some additional text to include codes that defines fonts layouts some embedded graphics and some hypertext links the hypertext that is the http that is the hypertext transfer protocol an application service for retrieving web document in hypermedia as well as hypertext as well as html that is hypertext markup language the computer language for specifying the contents and format of web document it allows additional text to include codes as well as some defines the font layouts some graphics some links in web page the unit of hypertext or hypermedia is available on the web that is a protocol uh, that is a hypertext transfer protocol then we see the html hypertext markup language is a language for creating web pages the term markup language comes from the book publishing industry in that book the printed a copy the editor reads the manuscript manuscript and puts marks on it that compositor how to format the text for example if the copy editor wants part of line to be printed in bold face he or she draws a wavy line under that part in the same way data for web page are formatted for interpretation by browser a markup language such as html allows us to embed the formatting instructions in file itself the instructions are included with the text in this way any browser can read the instructions and format the text according to the specific workstation html let us use only ascii characters that is the american standard for both main text and formatting instructions in this way every computer can receive the whole document as an ascii document the main text is the data and the formatting instructions can be used by the browser to format the data another one dynamic documents the dynamic document is created by a web server whenever a browser request the document when request arises the web server runs an application program or script that creates a dynamic document the server returns the output of the program or script as a response to the browser that requested the document because a fresh document is created for each request in that cgi cgi means it is a common gateway interface that common gateway interface is a technology that creates and handles dynamic documents cgi common gateway interface is set of standards that defines how a dynamic document is written as well as how data are input to the program and how the output result is used the cgi defines is a set of rules and 
the programmer must will be follow the rules of CJ. The active document for many application we need a program or a script to be run at the client side. These are called the active documents. For example, suppose we want to run a program that creates animated graphics. That create animated graphics on the screen or program that interacts with user. The program definitely needs to be run at the client side where the animation or interaction takes place. When a browser requests an active document, the server sends a copy of the document or script. The document is then run at the client browser side. This is the all about the information of HTTP and uh, World Wide Web. Then we will see the what is the next services, what is the structured, we will see the details in World Wide Web. We will see the basic information of hypertext, hypermedia, browser architecture, what is the HTML, what is the CGI dynamic active document. We will see the in today's lecture. We will stop here. Next lecture we see the details in WW World Wide Web. Okay, thank you.